What is up guys, welcome to part 3 of the MacBook Pro SSD installation series. From start to finish we'll be installing OS X and transferring our files from Time Machine back up. So first make sure you have a bootable USB drive, check the link in the description for how to create this, there's a very good video tutorial, so make sure you've done that first. And then just boot into your Mac whilst on the option key to get the disk selection, just arrow across to the Mac OS X USB disk. Remember you can go from here into your hard drive where you can create your uh, USB disk and also create a time machine backup already for when we are transferring our documents across after the installation of the OS. Once we are into the installation process, just press next for the using English. Then into the OS X utilities, if we just clicked on to reinstall OS X right now, it would not see our brand new SSD, so we need to go into disk utility to format it. Once it's loaded the disk, hopefully you will see our SSD on the left hand side. Click on that, erase, then we need to think of a name for our SSD, I'm just going to call mine Macintosh SSD. And then make sure you have Mac OS X Extended Journaled as the format and simply click Erase. Now once it is erased, you can simply exit out of Disk Utility and then just follow the installation process for Mac OS X and you should see this screen whilst it installs it onto our SSD. Make sure you have chosen the correct drive to install it onto and then hopefully you'll see this installation succeeded. Now once it has booted up into your SSD, we are going to be using the Time Machine Backup to transfer all our files across. Remember, you haven't done this already, just boot up into your hard drive, create that Time Machine Backup to an external disk, and then boot back up into the SSD already to transfer our lovely file settings, documents, apps all across. So we're going to open Migration Assistant by just going into Other, Migration Assistant. Then make sure you have the Time Machine Backup selected. So it's going to press continue, then enter our password. Then we're going to press continue to exit all applications. Then we need to select backup from a time machine restore. So just press continue after that. And then you will not see these bottom two options. They're only there because I've done this process already and I, they are already backed up. But you'll just see the Macintosh HD. So that's absolutely fine. Just select that disk. And then as you can see here, once it's calculated, it will then see that we are 25 gigabytes over capacity. But that is absolutely no problem at all because of the beauty of a time machine backup. Because what we can do is simply select which folders we want to sync across. So example, music being 47 gigabytes, that's media we don't necessarily want to transfer across. Same with uh, pictures and movies. But because of the beauty, again, of the Time Machine backup, we can just untick these and then we can just sort these out onto our hard drive at a later date. And once that's done, just press continue and that is it. All of our documents, files, application settings, all transferring onto our SSD or the ones you've selected. Remember you can make changes to this after uh, this process is done, you know, switching things between whether you want it on the SSD or onto the onboard storage of your hard drive. And that is it guys, our SSD is installed. All our settings and applications are transferred onto our SSD. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, just leave a comment on any of these sections. Subscribe to be notified every time I load a new video. I'm Apple iPhone Tech 1 on Twitter, and I'll see you guys in the next one.